Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket. Today, I am going to be showing you how to correctly benchmark your GPU so that you don't make any mistakes and that you get the correct number for your GPU so you can get a, a good idea of how well you're performing. First of all, you must identify bottlenecks, and a good way I recommend to identify that is you get your task manager open and then any kind of free benchmarking tool like Unigen Valley. So first I want you to go into the description and make sure you download Unigen Valley or Unigen Heaven, doesn't matter. And then get some kind of recording tool. Fraps is what I recommend because it actually allows you to save the min, max, and average right here. So that's a good, but Anything like Bandicam or DxTory or, or I believe um, even the Windows 10 recorder might even work. Anything that you can see the FPS of your game in the corner, that will do. Okay, so go ahead and get your that. Go ahead and get that open. Then you'll need a game. Um, this is the most graphically advanced game I have. It has to be a, a, the most intense game you own because. You want to stress out your, C your GPU. So after you got all that open, first up you should open up Unigen Valley, whatever, Unigen Heaven, whatever one you downloaded, and make sure you set this to the Extreme HD preset. This will run it in 1080p, just a note, so that'll be your 1080p benchmarks. If you want to do it differently, just go into Custom and change the resolution. Always make sure you have this to 8, this to your monitor setup, this you should only benchmark if you want to benchmark 3D, and this should be Ultra, and this should always be the highest DirectX version you have. Unless you're on Linux, then you use OpenGL, but I doubt that. So just make sure you have this on Ultra, only use that if you want to. Monitors should be whatever setup you have, this should be 8, full screen, and then whatever the resolution you're going for. In my case, 1080p, so I set it to Extreme HD. And we hit run. When you hit run, it'll open up the benchmark and it'll show an FPS thing in the corner. Now I, I'm going, just for the demonstration of this video, I'm going to be running it in windowed mode so I can show you how to identify a bottleneck. It's actually too big, you might not, it's not gonna work. My monitor is actually 1440 by 900, so it's only 900p, so I just set it to 1080p, it doesn't really do anything. Anyway, so here it is now. As you can see, I fraps open, so that'll be showing in the corner. But if I can go ahead and hide that, there we go. You can see now it's showing our FPS in the corner. It shows our the graphics card we have. In my case, a 1050 Ti. It says how much the memory is clocked at, the graphics core is clocked out, and temperature. So, as you can see, this is running pretty smoothly at 60 frames per second. It's pretty smooth, but that's not what this graphics card is supposed to show. I, you, you should always make sure you research about your cards so that you'll know if you have bottleneck. I can see that this is obviously bottlenecked because I know this card should be doing more than that. I overclocked my CPU now and I can see it is getting a little better than it was before, but it still is bottlenecked. And here, you can easily tell that is a bottleneck. If you see your GPU is not running at the right speeds and your CPU is looking like this, that is obviously a bottleneck. But it's not that big of a deal for me since I'm going to throw this graphics card into another computer anyways. That was just for me to show you guys how bottleneck is. And so now that you know, that's how you tell. So go ahead and benchmark your, your GPU by clicking this button. And afterwards you'll get a score of your min max average and your score. You can go ahead and compare that online. And then you'll know how good your, your card compares to other higher end or lower end cards. Now that you're done with that, you can go ahead and close that out. Then you gotta open up Fraps or whatever program you have that you can use to manage your min, max, and average. Keep that open, make sure you have your hotkey set, and go ahead and play the game. Now, I don't know if this is going to work with OBS, so let's just find out. It's running in windowed. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that, but that's fine for now. So, as you can see, now that we're in, we got to, um, any mode, really, I don't think it matters which mode. I just recommend you do a mode with a lot of action. Uh, I, I don't recommend using missions for your benchmark, because 
Survival, maybe, but that's not really that that intense. Battles, maybe, but even that's not as intense. I recommend you go into a skirmish or a multiplayer match, and then fighter squadron, maybe. I think this one's more intense, so I go would go with that. Then any one of these, just doesn't matter. Choose whatever one you want, go ahead and get in. You're just gonna be playing it, so... As you can see there, it's it just stuttered. It's trying to go full screen, but OBS won't allow it, so... It's fine, but your one should be in full screen. Okay, now that we're in, let's go ahead and... Um, go into the game. I'm just gonna choose my rifle here, you don't have to watch this. Okay, once you're in the game now... You'll go in, and your fraps should be open now, so let me go ahead and make sure I have it in the corner somewhere. There we go, I'm gonna put it in the corner right here. Actually, let me put it over there so you guys can see that better. And then when it starts, you, you just gotta make sure that you are constantly running. Now, as you can see, the... the, um... the uh, frames per second is not that high. Normally, when I'm not recording, I get like 70 to 80, but as you can see right now, it's not that great, so that's just because I'm recording. So now, when you're benchmarking, you should make sure you're not recording. I'm just doing this for the example of this video. So, to benchmark, you have your hotkey set, just press that button and it should start benchmarking. Note that when you do that, you won't see your... You're, you won't see what your what your uh, frames are, they'll disappear. So no one will know what they are while you're benchmarking. So I'm gonna go ahead and benchmark it, and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I'm back now. Now that that now when you're done benchmarking, all you gotta do is hit the key again whenever you think that's enough benchmarking, and it'll stop the benchmark. Or if you set the timer right here, it'll stop automatically. So once you're done, go ahead and click the view button to wherever you have it set. Then once you got your folder, you'll see a, some kind of name like this: the game you're playing, the date. I don't know what those are, and then whatever settings you have it set to read. So as you can see here, the frames were 995, because that's all I did. That's how much I played. The min was 35, average was 54, I mean max was 54, and average was 42, 197. So that's how you benchmark something. You can then compare it to other graphics cards, you can see if you have bottlenecked, and whatever. Now normally this graphics card will perform a lot more, but my, I'm bottlenecked right now, so that's how it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Otherwise, hit the down thumbs down button, doesn't matter. Make sure you comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you next time.